everybody, I'm your guide, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. They call me Buzzy because I'm always buzzing around and asking questions. I found out lots of great stuff that way, and now I can pass it on to you. Today, I'll be showing you around the farm. The farm is where food is grown and some animals live. Pigs, chickens, horses, and cows, they're all here. There's a lot to do and see in a farm, so we better get started. Let's go! Grain is the seed of plants like oats, rye, wheat, rice, and corn. Sometimes grain is used to feed farm animals, and sometimes it is sold and used as food for people. They are also used in breakfast cereals like oatmeal and cornflakes. Silo Elevator a silo elevator helps the farmer move large amounts of grain into the silo. The elevator lifts the grain up to the top of the silo, then drops it down into the silo for storage. A silo is the perfect place to store extra food for the farm animals. The food stored in the silo is called fodder or forage. Corn fodder includes the stalk, leaves, and kernels of the corn. Barn. A barn is like a house, only for animals. Horses, cows, and sheep live here. The lower part of the barn is where the animals live. The upper area, called the loft, is where things are stored. Bundles of hay, called bales, are often kept here. Sometimes big tractors are kept inside the barn. Sometimes animals are kept in the barn. Big barn doors that open wide make it easy for the farmer to move his animals and equipment in and out. The loft is a good place to store things. You might find hay bales or straw for the barn animals here. The cows and horses eat the hay. The straw makes warm beds for them, too. Sometimes the farmer uses a ladder to move things up to the loft. Sometimes he uses a pulley. Lightning is electricity. Sometimes during thunderstorms, lightning travels to the ground. If lightning goes through a barn on its way to the ground, it could destroy the barn. A lightning rod in a barn attracts the lightning and carries the electricity straight down to the ground instead of through the barn, and the barn stays safe. Water is important to all animals. Like people, farm animals need plenty of water to drink. Other animals, like fish, need water as a place to live. Rivers, lakes, ponds, and oceans all are full of water. When water gets too cold, it freezes into ice. Water freezes when the temperature gets to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. A shovel is a tool used for scooping up many different kinds of things. 
Shovels can be used to move snow, grain, dirt, or coal from one place to another. Using a shovel is much faster than moving things a handful at a time. Pigs are well known for their curly tails. They like to lie in cool mud when it is hot out, which is called wallowing. Pigs are also called swine and hogs. A female pig is called a sow, and her babies are called piglets. This trough is a large box or bin that holds food for the pigs. The trough has low sides, so the pigs can easily reach their food. Barrels are usually made of wooden boards with metal hoops around them that help hold the boards together. Barrels are used for storage. Barrels can hold food products like grain or vegetables, or they can hold liquid. Barrels are pretty heavy-duty containers, so they can be reused many times. Piglet Baby pigs are called piglets. Piglets can walk right away after they are born. Piglets squeal and oink as they play with their brothers and sisters in the wallow. When they grow up, the male pigs are called boars, and the female pigs are called sows. A female pig is called a sow. This sow is feeding her milk to her piglets. This is called nursing. The sow has to eat a lot of food to make enough milk for her babies. When she's not tending to her babies, the sow likes to root or dig in the dirt with her nose. Another name for a pig's nose is a snout. A lean-to has just one side of a roof. The highest part of the roof leans against the wall of a building. The lowest part is held up by putting posts at the corners. Lean-tos are used to provide cover from rain, snow, sun, and wind. A wallow is where pigs live when they're outside the barn. It's also called a pig pen or a pig sty. Rolling in the mud is called wallowing. On a Dutch door, the bottom half can be closed while the top half is open. This makes it easy for the farmer to check on the pigs from inside the barn. The farmer can look out, but the pigs can't come in. It's also good for cooling off a hot barn without letting any animals out. Cow This kind of dairy cow is called a Holstein. She is easy to recognize by the black and white markings on her hide. She provides 6 to 12 gallons of milk a day for the farmer's family. To make that much milk, she has to eat about 50 pounds of food every day. A baby cow is called a calf. Cowbells are used to help farmers keep track of animals, like cows or sheep. If a cow wanders out of the barn or pasture, the farmer can easily find her. The cowbell makes a loud dinging noise, so it's easy for the farmer to hear lost animals, even if they're far away. Flies are part of the insect world. 
They have six legs, two antennae, and four wings. Flies have compound eyes. This means each eye is made up of hundreds of little eyes. This helps the fly see in many directions at once. Farmers are the people who run the farm. Farmers work the garden, plow the fields, and grow the fruit. They also take care of the cows, chickens, pigs, horses, and sheep on a farm. They often live right on the farm in the farmhouse. The milk pail is a low bucket. As the farmer milks the cow, the milk pail catches the cow's warm milk. The milk can then be poured into the milk can or taken into the farmhouse to drink. The manger is a box that holds hay for the livestock. That's what farmers call their cows and horses. When the livestock are hungry, they can eat out of the manger. A baby cow is called a calf. A calf can stand up right away after it is born. The calf will drink milk from its mother, from a bottle, or from a milk pail. After about one week, the calf will start eating hay. Milk. A milk can is used to store and carry large amounts of milk. When the farmer is done milking the cow, he pours the milk from the milk pail into the milk can. This is a field mouse. A mouse likes to eat seeds from wheat or corn or sunflowers and fruit and berries. A farm with all the fruits and vegetables and grains there is a favorite place for mice to live. The farmer must keep cats around to chase the mice, or the mice will eat all the food. <coughs> Almost every farm has a cat or two. Just like the farm dog, cats are as much a farm hand as a pet. They chase off the mice, bugs, and other pests found on the farm. A ewe is a female sheep. This ewe recently had its fleece removed with clippers. Fleece is usually removed in the spring, which keeps the ewe nice and cool. This ewe now looks a little bit like a lamb, which is a baby sheep. Baby sheep are called lambs. This one has a very short coat of wool or fleece. Lambs love to run around and eat a lot of grains and grass. Female lambs grow up to be ewes. Male lambs grow up to be rams. A sheep's wool coat is called a fleece. When the sheep gets a haircut, its fleece is used to make wool clothes, rugs, and blankets. Sheep have a very thick fleece. As they walk around the pasture, weeds and dirt get into the fleece. Brushing through the thick fleece will remove the weeds and dirt. Clippers are used for cutting or shaving. Sometimes clippers are used to shave the fur off of animals. When clippers are used on sheep, it is called shearing the sheep.
A sheep's fur is called a fleece. Grain. This is the shepherd's crook. A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. The curved end of the crook is used by the shepherd to help move the sheep from one place to another. This is a knot hole. A wood knot is where a branch connected to the tree. When trees are made into lumber or building things like fences or chicken coops, the boards sometimes have knots. When the knot falls out of the board, it leaves a knot hole. Horses are good helpers on the farm. They help plow the land, harvest crops, and pull heavy loads. Farmers also ride their horses when checking on cows or sheep in pastures. Horses love to eat carrots, sugar, hay, and grain. They like salt, too. Animals love to eat salt, and it's an important part of their diet. Since they can't use salt shakers, the salt is kept in blocks. A quick lick of the tongue makes a salty snack for a horse. Hay is made of either dried grass or alfalfa. Farm animals, like horses and cows, like to eat hay. Hay is grown out in the field then either rolled into large rolls or into bales. It is then stored in the barn's loft until the animals are hungry. This brush is made especially for grooming horses. Horses are brushed every day to keep their coats healthy and clean. A bucket or pail is a handy tool to have around the farm. It can be filled with water from the well, eggs from the chicken coop, milk from the barn, or vegetables from the garden. Buckets are also useful for carrying rocks, dirt, and sand. A bridle is worn over a horse's head when he is being ridden. The rider holds on to the reins on the bridle and directs or steers the horse in the right direction. A feed bag holds food for horses. Another name for feed bag is nose bag. Since a horse doesn't have hands to eat with, the horse can wear the feed bag. The straps attach to the horse's head and the feed bag covers the horse's nose. <coughs> A ladder is useful for helping people reach things in high places. The steps on ladders are called rungs. Ladders are often made of wood, but they can also be made of metal or even rope. Straw. Straw is made from dried stalks of grain like wheat or oats. It can be used in horse stalls to make a bed for the horses. Straw can also be woven and turned into hats or baskets. Apples grow on trees. When many trees are planted together, it is called an orchard. 
Apple trees in orchards can bear fruit or grow apples for up to 50 years. Apples are delicious raw, and they are good cooked in pies. Apple sauce, apple cider, apple juice, and apple jelly are all made from apples. This hook, called a gaff, helps the farmer move heavy objects. Holding a gaff in each hand, the farmer can pick up large hay bales by pushing a gaff into each end of the bale. Or, a bale can be dragged across the loft by pulling on it with one gaff. Out in the fields, a baling machine gathers the loose hay up from the ground and bundles it into a bale. The bales of hay can be stacked on top of each other and stored in the barn's loft. Hay is used as food for cows and horses. The pulley is a useful tool for lifting heavy objects. It would be hard for the farmer to carry a big bale of hay up a ladder and into the loft. But with the pulley, the farmer can hook the rope to the bundle of hay, pull on the other end of the rope, and lift the hay up. Rope is often made from plants. Flax and hemp plants are the two most common plants used to make rope. Rope is strong and can be used to tie things together, to hold things in place, or to help lift heavy objects on a pulley. <coughs> Owls are nocturnal birds. That means they do most of their work at night and most of their resting during the day. Owls have very good eyesight for long distances, but they cannot see very well up close. Most owls don't build nests. Instead, they live inside of trees, burrows, or barns. Shutter. Shutters make nice decorations around windows. They can also be useful. In the winter, the shutters can be closed to help keep out the cold wind. When it is really windy out, they can protect the window glass from breaking. Trees have woody trunks and lots of branches. Trees usually grow to be very tall and live for many years. Some trees have leaves that change color and fall off in autumn. Some trees, like pine trees, have needles instead of leaves. A pitchfork looks like a giant dinner fork. This pitchfork has four prongs or tines and a long wooden handle. The farmer holds on to the wooden handle when using the pitchfork. Pitchforks are used to lift and throw straw or hay from one area to another. Wallow. A water trough holds drinking water for animals. Horses, cows, pigs, and chickens need to drink water every day. The sides of the trough are low, 
so it's easy for the animals to get a drink.